No. Fucking I'm gonna go. I'm gonna way. go. I'm gonna go the moon landing, but I feel like it's one of the other ones. I, you were about I'm, to say the good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yo, what up? Welcome, uh, ladies and gents. It's the Joystick Show. Amen. It's a little show that Team Joystick puts on yeah. once a week, every Wednesday. And Correct. it's secretly a podcast, but we call it a show to be different. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's full table. Woo! Yeah. The whole gang is here. We like when everyone's here. Uh, fucking shout outs to everybody. Shout outs to Dylan. Shout outs to Joey. Shout outs to Jerry. Fuck Bobby. He's the worst. Yeah. And uh, we're we- this is going to be a good time. We're going to keep it a little shorter this episode because mm-hmm. Dylan and I decided we were going to rank over 100 stand-up comedians last episode. Like that wasn't going <laughs> to take up the whole fucking podcast. But it was good. It, it was pretty good. It was pretty insightful, but... Regardless, it's going to be a good one. If you want to know what we're talking about, boom, Listed. graphic, it's boom. there. Cool. We do that. We're not your fucking, we're not, we're not your. I'm going to, I'm going to go through that one day podcast. and I'm just going to write, in, I'm going to write the list in the comments. Oh, yeah. are you? Yeah, I'm going to be that guy. We're not your average Joe Schmo. Oh, yeah. Well, it's gone now. And mm-hmm. uh, if you want to subscribe to us, that would be cool. You could do that. If you want to like the video, that could, that could be the coolest thing you've One done. click. Uh, and you stick know, around st- yeah it's gonna be a good one uh we have stuff to talk about today but mm-hmm. before we talk about the stuff your boy prepared a segment I, oh I, I feel like i knew this so so uh oh, he's got the rings on i do so uh t- if i'm being completely honest the way this segment came to life was very weird it was kind of like i knew what i wanted the segment to be about but I didn't really know like how it would, it would work in detail. Okay. To give you some perspective, I wanted to do a, a trivia-based segment based around Wikipedia. Oh. Interesting stuff you can find on it on this incredible you know internet internet uh, encyclopedia of fucking anything you could ever mm. need to know, right? Uh, so I I did my homework. I was looking up. Uh, at first, I thought I might do historical figures and celebrities and do like fun facts about them that are on their personal lives and yeah. stuff like that. But in doing my research. I found a pot of gold. Okay. Just, it just, it's just a, it, an amazing... Is it the obscure list? It is the... Uh, is that what it's called? It, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the official, official name. I'm not yeah, sure what no. the name is, but... <clears throat> to, to give you the official name, it is the... Uh, yes, it is the Wikipedia Unusual Articles list. Okay. Because I know about this list, but I've never actually looked at it. Oh, it's I, I know, amazing. I know, I know about a little bit of the articles, but I know only maybe two or three I know mm-hmm. about. So I know it's weird. I decided to peruse okay. the Unusual Articles list. Thank you. And I decided that this segment is going to be called The Wonderful World of Wikipedia. Ooh. Nice. I've got eight questions for you. Okay. Each of these eight questions will be multiple choice. Mm-hmm. You will all have an opportunity to, to give me your answer. And what's even more fun about it is each one of these questions is centered around a legitimate article you can find on Wikipedia. So, all right. You guys ready? You want to get cracking? Let's okay. Yeah. Right I'm interested. It. I'm interested to see the format. For sure. Let's go into number one. I also kind of put it in a way where it starts sort of normal. And okay. We're going to start getting very, very Weird. obscure. Yes. Okay. So starting off with number one, cinnamon roll day is a sweet holiday that falls on October 4th every year. Which of these countries celebrates cinnamon roll day? Is it France, Sweden, Germany, or Wales? Germany. Can you repeat them? France, Sweden, Germany, Wales. I'm going to go with uh, Sweden. We have a Sweden from Dylan. We have a Germany from Joey. It's going to be France. I mean, we have a France. Mm. It might yeah. actually be. Now that I'm thinking about pastries, it might yeah, be France. That's a great point. Uh, fun fact, Cinnamon Roll Day was made as a marketing strategy to promote baked goods made primarily out of Sweden. Wow. But also Finland. So Sweden and Finland Ooh. celebrate Cinnamon Finland. Roll Day every October 4th. And now Jerry knows every, every October, October 4th, 4th, you know what you got to do. You yep. got to go to the mall. That's dope. Yep. I'm marking that on my calendar. Damn, All I really right. thought nah, I got to find Germans. a good one, like a bakery one. They're known for like sweet Ours, stuff. bro. We're so good. Link to that shit. Link, so link, shout link, outs link, to link. Dylan with one point on the board. Uh, I thought this was going to get progressively weirder. This shit just gets really weird. <laughs> oh, God. Corporal Jackie was a member of the South African Army during World War I, but wasn't your ordinary soldier. What kind of animal was the corporal? Was the corporal a dog, a tiger, an elephant, or a baboon? 
Can you beat the question? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Corporal Jackie was a member of the South African Army during World War One, but wasn't an ordinary soldier. What kind of animal was Corporal during Jackie? World War One. Yes. So, what was the animals? Dog, tiger, elephant, baboon. Okay, I thought this was going to be about Wojciech, the Polish bear that has like medals and shit because it killed mm-hmm. a bunch of people in the army. So that's not this. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go boy. with elephant. I'm gonna go with baboon. I think uh-huh. I'm gonna go with elephant too. Two for elephant, one for baboon. Dylan's killing it today. <laughs> no way! <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. I'm gonna, no, uh, it had to be crazy. elephant and baboon because it's th- Africa. I'm gonna it throw it up here. When you see the picture of Corporal Jack, you will shit your pants. <laughs> it's one of, yep, it's one of the funniest fucking things on the planet. Uh, they served Jackson. as a mascot for the South African Army, Holy and they were a sign shit. of hope. It's peace. like, yo, a baboon can do this shit. You're not gonna go out and do this shit. <laughs> yeah, Come on, no. word. That baboon didn't dodge the draft. <laughs> That's kind of funny that you brought up the whole Russian bear getting mad. Like, isn't it crazy that we're, you're in a war and an animal just does its animal shit? And you're like, yo, I don't want to be the guy that has to fight hero. a baboon. Like, yeah, no, fuck. <laughs> put a me, medal man? around that animal. All right, here's a an interesting one. In 2023, Epic Games approved and published a Fortnite map in the style of a virtual museum, educating players about what historical event. I know this. Is it JFK's assassination, the moon landing, the Holocaust, or 9/11? Wait. Oh, what? I don't know this. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can you repeat? <laughs> yes. In 2023, okay, Epic, this is recent. Epic Games approved and published a Fortnite map in the style of a virtual museum educating players about what historical event? JFK's assassination, the moon landing, the Holocaust or 9/11? No. I'm going to go I'm going to go I'm going to go the moon landing, but I feel like it's one of the other ones. I, <laughs> you were going to say the good one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> The prominent, the 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 blockbusters. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I feel like the I'm, moon, I'm landing moon landing is a red herring. I'm going moon so landing. So I'm gonna go with one of the fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's in on it. Yeah, fun ones. That's JFK a better one. assassination. Yeah, JFK's, I'm gonna go JFK. JFK assassination. I'll go moon landing. Moon landing, guys. You can go onto the Fortnite Museum of the Holocaust. I knew it. I knew it. The wow. bad one. I knew it. The fun one, like Jose. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Come on. Uh, yeah, I had more <sighs> stuff written, but I, I need I to look at to this save museum. It. it was made by a guy who actually developed like independent video games, and it's a, supposedly like a really like you know respectful take on the, oh, okay. the events and things like that. I know they did a. I think it's his... called the Visions of the Holocaust or something. Oh, okay. Like that. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Fortnite characters. Everything. Yeah. This one might just be a personal favorite of mine. I think if you know me personally, you know that this speaks to me, and now I have to visit this place desperately. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude Chilling Park is a famous laid-back landmark located in what North American city? Where's Dude Chilling Park, guys? Dude Chilling Park. Is it in Vancouver, British Columbia, Portland, Oregon, Austin, Texas, or Toronto, Ontario? Portland, Oregon. So I'm going to go Toronto. What were the first two? Vancouver, British Columbia, Portland, Oregon. I think I'm going to go with Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Portland. Uh, Toronto. Toronto. It's Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, wow. Yeah, we have to go to Dew Chilling Park. It's uh, it actually a sign that was placed at the park as part of a uh, of a prank, but I guess the community thought it was incredible and just decided to leave it there. And now it's an official art installation. Dude and it was, they, they called it that because the park apparently has a pre-made sculpture of just a dude like laying down. Dude <laughs> so chilling. Dude chilling park. I'm just imagining they asked like this young like surfer dude that was like, what's the name of this park again? Dude uh, chilling park. Dude, dude chilling park. Dude and then he like chillin'. runs away laughing. Like, <laughs> and they're like, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, dude chilling, chilling park. park. Yes. So I really want to go. I'm not even joking about that. That's on the bucket list. I look you want to go. It's a tiny park too, but. Just I can, no, I'm imagining like literally like. A plot of land. Yeah. yeah. All right. In 1963, a religion was founded in South Vietnam centered around what fruit? The banana, the star fruit, the cocoa nut, or the guava? Star fruit. Coconut. Banana. It is indeed the coconut. Yes. Mm. Apparently, it was a religion that was founded and then turned into a cult. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. At the most, it had about 4,000 members, and it was officially uh, banned by the Vietnamese government at one point. Apparently, no it's coconuts. centered around just like only eating and living by the coconut. <laughs> so, you know, shout outs. 
Live by the coconut. Live by, by the, the coconut. coconut. Guy, guys, it's food. It's water. Stack them up. It's shelter. Yeah. You got, yeah. Hey, come on. It's <laughs> everything in one. It's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. How you, you said that? You're like, is that fruit? how they did the sacrifices? They would just like knock them with a coconut. I'd like to think so. They're banned from eating and living by the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's a woman crying. No. Forgive me if I do not pronounce this correctly, as I do not know Japanese. But Yuki Gasen is a Japanese sporting competition that has people doing what competitively? Is it snowball fighting, toe wrestling, snorkeling, or unicycling? <laughs> all snowball of these, fighting sounds all of these, dope. All of these are hysterical. I kind of want to say snowball fighting, but I'll go toe what fighting. What is the thing called in Japanese? It's called. Yuki Gasen. Wait, so is it like toe finger wrestling? Or is it like, how does that work? Toe wrestling. Okay, that's, I'll go, I'll go toe wrestling. That's something that's a fetishized... I'm gonna say toe wrestling. What are you saying? So it was snowball fighting, toe wrestling, snorkeling, and unicycling. It's not snorkeling. It's going to be. It's gonna be unicycle. She's gone with you, good, Joey. It's snowball fighting. <laughs> wow. It's competitive wow. team based. It kind of sounds like it too. Like she yeah. It. It's funny you asked like what the name is because apparently it directly translates to like snow fight or something like that. Yuki is what I was what I heard. I was like that sounds so familiar. Yeah, it's like apparently it's it's such a popular thing that it's been adapted in many other countries that do this now, and it's like a competitive competitive form that's played on an actual like uh, kind of like, like paintball snow court, court. Oh, and it's cool. capture the flag style, and you're el- eliminated via snowball, and ninety snowballs are pre made. Oh the, shit. Uh, Kind of, it's it's legit, you know. What I'm saying? Sounds fun. It's, it's, we gotta look at this. We gotta go play some Yuki Gasen. All right, number seven. We're almost done. Okay. Yeah. In June 2021, a chicken nugget from what restaurant sold for almost a hundred thousand dollars on eBay because it was shaped like an Among Us character? Is it Burger King, Chick Fil A, Wind Wendy's, Wendy's, or McDonald's? McDonald's. I'm thinking of. It has to be Chick Fil A or McDonald's because of the way the nugget would be potentially shaped. I'm gonna go with Mickey D's. I'm gonna go with McDonald's. They know this stuff. And you guys know your fucking chicken nugget shaping. No, I know. I bombed the one that bought that. Chicken oh yeah, yeah. Joey, Joey <laughs> is, is the, the one that bought the it. Us chicken nugget. nugget. Yes. yes. Yeah. Shout out. So almost a hundred thousand fucking dollars. <laughs> eat it. Ridiculous. All right. Last but not least, we have question <laughs> numero eat your chicken nugget, bro. eight. <laughs> Imagine you go. Also, if you haven't, you probably haven't noticed, but all of these come from separate categories. Like the Cinnamon yes. Roll Day came from culture. Corporal Jackie was war. Uh, Epic Games was video games. You know, Dude Chilling Park was geography. So all these different things. Mm-hmm. This last one is film. So uh, a little fun one for me. Mm. Who Killed Captain Alex is a famous Ugandan independent film that helped spawn famous memes spread all over the world. What was the film's budget? $5, $20, Eighty-five dollars or two hundred dollars. I'm gonna go with the section second option. Twenty dollars. Yep. I'm gonna say eighty-five dollars. I'm gonna go with twenty dollars. But can we just say that none of those answers were movie budgets? <laughs> no. Yes. None, none of those. It'd have been funny if I threw close. in like a ten million. I'm gonna go twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, the correct answer is eighty-five dollars. Yeah, I got one right. right. Wow. Let's go, oh. Jerry. Interestingly enough, it sold ten thousand DVD copies, which I'm sure I've equated to much I've, more than eighty-five dollars. I think I've seen this movie. This movie's fucking hysterical. Uh, apparently, the pirated versions that went on before it was officially uploaded to YouTube uh, were distributed over ten times that amount, and it's a it's officially credited with creating the Ugandan knuckles meme. So, oh, there you have it. I wasn't officially keeping track, but I'm pretty sure Dylan is the winner of this uh, this edition Ooh. of the wonderful guys, wide of Wikipedia. Really random. Have you guys that. seen uh, Cholo Knuckles? <laughs> no, I have not. I think I have. Yes, I have. I love him. <laughs> hey, yo, mommy. Like, he's so, oh, yeah. so terrible. <laughs> but thank you for playing. And guys, go check out Wikipedia. There's some great stuff out there. Can we pull up that list real quick? What? The, the, the un- obscure obscure articles. Yeah, that's weird, right? Blue. I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen because we're having screen issues. Oh. I remember we were, had that whole technical difficulty. Oh yeah, it's just ha- it happened to me at work too. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but like you know, should I'll- restart your computer. Just take a computer and just like hammer it. Yeah, you know? we have technology. I'll <laughs> tell you what, Dylan. How about uh, I'll give you like a list of categories and you tell me which one t- fancies your 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 brow. Okay, you just stop me if you like it. Ready? Places and infrastructure, right off the bat, it's probably great. History, mathematics, language, science, technology, popular culture, food, sports, folklore. I want pop culture. 
Pop culture. All right, here we go. Fucking. On pop culture. I'm just going to scroll like that because it's a long list. Bam. Yeah. Master Betathon. Let's see. Yeah. That is. The this master. Is great. The Master Betathon is an event in which par- participants Show masturbate the picture. to raise money. <laughs> oh my god. For charity and increase the public awareness and dispel the shame and taboos that exist about this form of sexual activity. From 1998 to 2003, the Master oh, Betathon okay. raised around twenty five thousand dollars for women's health initiatives and HIV prevention. Shout out. Shout outs to that. Guys, do your do your part. Guys, do your part, both men and women. And look, we'll women do, are and then we'll go too. like that, and bam, uh, Master Betathon two. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just called the Dream of the Fisherman's Wife, an 1814 hokusai woodcut of a woman getting intimate with a pair of octopuses, <laughs> sometimes described as the originator of tentacle erotica. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you see, there's some great stuff here. <laughs> This is where all the hidden gems are in every single facet. You can learn about war shit, history, real I'm places. about to have fun just doing this. It's great, man. <laughs> it's great. See? There's even a way you can get, like do there's like things that randomize it too, so you can just like Look at that, go man. crazy. Fucking unusual articles. It's a great place. It's a great place to be. Man, mm. we've come so far with technology. If I do say so myself. Joey's wearing a shirt. I wasn't even planning on this. Oh, look at that. But I did see something that kind of correlates with the shirt. Yeah, you I saw would... a dumpster fire, huh? Wow, yeah, I did. I really did. <laughs> I heard about this. I, I went to go see Madam Web, uh, a Sony Spider-Man verse film that they're really desperately trying to hold on to. Um, but I knew the movie wasn't going to be that great based off the trailers. And a lot of people right off the bat were like, this looks bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But because it's set in a spider universe and I know a bit of the character has a lot of role in the whole spider verse and seeing different. Her whole gimmick is that she's able to see things in the future and like sense things and otherworldly but um i wanted to give the movie a shot i saw it with my girlfriend on valentine's day because she i told her about anya corazon and she was just interested on that she was like i want to know about her there's like a latina spider-man what so we went to go see it and it was it (laughs) was a long pause yeah Yeah, it's it was just a movie man um the acting wasn't bad, but the script was weird that it kept having me say, like, what? Like, how? That that made no sense. or That, uh, that was dumb. The The whole plot is that there's a, a a guy that's looking for this ancient spider, and this white woman is in, like, in the jungle, and, and she's like, I found the ancient spider. And then he pulls out a gun and is like, give me the spider. And then they kind of, like, wrestle like children and, like, wrestling over a <laughs> jar of spiders. Like, I found the spider. <laughs> This is terrible. And then um, she dies, but as she's dying, a race of spider people in the jungle like save her using a magic pond. But she dies, and the child has it, and it looks like on a spider pond. And I'm like, what am I watching? I'm like, what is this? I like to imagine like Stanley going to the spider pond. Stanley in the mid 1900s was just like, I've created a character named Spider Man. He's great. He's a kid from Queens. He got bit by a spider and he saves the neighborhood. And then some other guy was like, But wait, Stan, what if we made a spider god? And there were thousands of spider people. And he's like, I just made the fucking character, man. <laughs> what, wait, what are you talking about? That's w- <laughs> spider god. Um. The main villain wakes up. He he gets his spider powers from the spider bite. So it, it has like remember we know a Spider Man was like it was a radioactive spider like or they were like testing it. No, it turns out these spiders are just in a fucking jungle somewhere. You can just get bit and have those powers. Yeah. And uh, this guy sees in his dream he wakes up three girls killing him and he's like. I'm going to die in the future. <laughs> I need to kill them before they kill me. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> it's the Punisher. No. no, people relate it to the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Saying like, it's like, like, he's like, I'm going to kill these people before they kill me. Meanwhile, this woman who was saved, whose mother was saved from the spider bite, gets the same powers, but not the wa- wall cl- crawling abilities. But she sees these children getting hurt and out of like empathy and her, her-, her- heroic like motivation, she tries to save them. And then it's just a chase. The entire movie is a chase. But, you know, no spoilers, but there was a scene where, like, they had to light off a bunch of fireworks to get away. And the fireworks were, like, blowing up brick walls. And one of them gets shot out of a window and blows up a, a police helicopter. <laughs> and I, I, at that moment, I was like, huh? <laughs> a firework. A firework. Fire. Work. 
Um, the villain wore expensive suits but was barefoot, <laughs> and it was kind of funny. Like I'm sure, like the choice was like, oh, because he's a spider, mm-hmm. and it's easy for him to crawl. It looked funny. My guys walking in alleyways, like, do you know where they are? I'm looking for them. Uh, horrible. What is it called? ADR when they put yeah, voices over. Horrible. It doesn't match. It's very bad. And that movie was just. <laughs> I, I couldn't leave saying that was good. I just I don't left think like no. It's, it's, it sounded. It sounded. Uh, I knew confusing. that movie was gonna be garbage the second I. Saw, first of all, I the second s- I heard there was a Madam Web movie being made, I was like, nobody needs this shit. She's <laughs> f- important, sure, but who the fuck needs a Madam Web movie? Nobody. It just nobody. sounds confusing. I feel like I just be in this movie like, huh? Why? It also like you have to keep in mind, right? Mad. First of all, before this conversation, Matt before this M. movie Webb. came. What was the thing? Did you know who Madam Web was? I didn't even know there was an extent. I thought it was a Spider Man and then the other movies. I exactly. Thought, yeah, I, I feel know. like making a movie like this, I should. I guess the idea is like, oh, to expand the lore of Spider Man. I just feel like it ends up hurting Spider Man because more people than the fucking nerds who watch these movies are the ones who are like, oh, he's just the Spider Hero and you know he's from Queens and all that stuff. That's all people care about. <clears throat> That's really what all fucking people care about. The major, like, just the general audience not even like super fans yeah they just want to see i want to see this guy i mean yeah. even don't even, change even miles guy. morales it was like oh they're in queen there look at them they're in bro the, the day thing. miles morales gets a live action people will lose it and the fuck and honestly you put He's madam web in a movie now. right spider-man 4 have fucking peter meet madam web that she's an important character don't make a fucking madam web movie no yeah ma- make her important yeah make her making her an important part of one of the movies Just also don't. like what bothers me is like one thing i do know about it is that it's a prequel that takes place in is it like the early 2000s early or 2000s like, right fucking that's weird you put that into perspective madam web is supposed to be like a fucking 60 70 year old woman who can't see you know what i mean and she's like Dakota Johnson. Like I just don't. It, it makes no sense. It's like oh, in we're, the comic book, she's an older. Woman. We're gonna we're gonna make a Superman movie, and we're gonna cast Timothy Chalamet. It's like what the fuck? Like you know what I mean? It doesn't mm-hmm. make sense. We're gonna I cast this baby, I like just, a baby guy, this literal baby. I didn't, Superman. I, it doesn't make sense to me. The whole movie looked really strange. I refuse to give it any of my money. I'll I'll catch it when it comes out. I want, I want to say two quick things. Um, the villain had like twenty twenty four technology, but his thing was like the even his assistants like. This is incredible technology. He's like, yeah, I paid good money for it. No, I want you to do your job. And I was like, 2003? How much money did you pay for this? Like, it, it did not exist. I, I do not believe it existed. <laughs> none of this existed, Joey. <laughs> yeah, none of this Joey, real. a lot of stuff in these movies doesn't exist in real life. Just to shout but out. Like, it, you know? it was too cartoony. And, it just it seems like it seems like it's sci-fi itself into like oblivion. It's like none of this shit makes any sense. Like you were explaining that pond of spiders of youth shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It sounds like it's a bad movie. Um, and then the yeah. last thing, I I started crying in the theater at a moment that I wasn't supposed to be laughing at, but it was a scene where the girls like go to a diner. They Madam Web's character, Madam Web, she's not her name, but I'm just calling her Mrs. Web, Cassandra, I think, Cassie. She goes, uh, she tells the girls to stay in the forest until she comes back. And the girls were like, no, we're going to go get something to eat. And they find a diner. And in that diner, that villain comes in in this like black Spider-Man suit with like tints of red. Doesn't look like Miles, but it's like his own. Mm -hmm. And he comes in, walks in and sees them. And the girls get scared. He randomly does a flip onto like a booth next to him and punches the shit out of a guy. (laughs) Random guy. And I started laughing my ass off because I'm like, was there a scene of the guy like supposed to get up to like defend the girls and then him jumping and, and hitting him? <laughs> no, it just cut. Like the girls saw him, they're like, oh, he's here. And he walks in, flips, and just knocks the shit out of a guy for no reason. That's great. I was like, was that supposed to like intimidate them until he got See, to the girls? That's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> that, that just sounds like John Wick. I want to watch no, that. It's yeah. also funny you brought up the villain's suit because last night I was <laughs> hanging out with Jose, who's also upstairs today for whatever it's worth. But fucking, I was explaining the movie to Jose and Jose, I was telling him about like the villain and who he is in the comics. And I was like, he's just like a boring villain overall. And he was like, what does he look like? And I was like, imagine Spider-Man, but black and orange. And he was like, no, for real. And I'm like, no, like he's literally just like a reskin of Spider-Man. Like he doesn't even <laughs> look unique or cool. It's just, it's just a boring fucking movie. Like, how do you make this? How did this get made? I don't know. The Batgirl got scrapped and this got made. Just let that sink in. Sydney Sweeney wanted that to be a Spider-Man in. movie. What do you, uh, what do you give it out of 10? I saw you gave it one and a half on Letterboxd, but the, yeah, you got to transfer over. From one out of 10? 
Yeah. Two. It just goes up. Damn. One. Like that's low. It's that's not. Really it's low. like I can't. I, I can't score. recommend yeah. it. I, mean, I it can't sounds recommend terrible. it. It sounds not wow. good. Wow. Nah, I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Out of my hands. It is funny though. You said there was that one scene. So <laughs> that one scene. That, in mind. that one scene was funny. It wasn't okay. supposed to be though. I'm sure. You want, you want to hear something else that's kind of funny? Real quick, I have to disclaim that this story is going to say more about myself than anybody else. So okay. I'm, I'm aware of that. You know, I'm walking into my own my own battlefield here. Let's go. Cool. So yesterday okay. I was hanging out with Jose, and uh, <laughs> on Valentine's Day, a very crazy thing happened on Twitter involving the rapper Freddie Gibbs. Where his baby mama <laughs> leaked a picture of Freddie spreading his asshole, uh, which resulted in a you know a nationwide Twitter hashtag Spready Gibbs, <laughs> the funniest thing yeah, I've read that, in a that, very long that, time. That is great. As someone who was single on Valentine's Day, my day went from sad to great really really quickly. You know, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Told Jose about it. <laughs> to be fair, I also put it in the chat, but Jose missed it and he didn't see it. So when I told Jose yesterday, he was like, "Get the fuck out!" <laughs> he's like, "I." He's like, "Did you see the picture?" And I was like, "Of course I saw the picture. You, know, you have to see it." And he's like, "I have to find it." And I was like, "Yeah, but I saw it on Twitter." And Jose started like oh, viciously looking for it. Right. Eventually, out of my own morbid curiosity, I'm like, "I bet I could find it." Right. Uh-huh. So like ten seconds after, I pull out my phone. He's like, "I bet you won't find it before I do." And it turns into a race of us <laughs> trying to find Freddie Gibbs' asshole. Yeah. 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 So we we both find this one link that directs to a shop where you can buy a T-shirt of the picture, <laughs> but the picture is blurred. And you know that's not good enough for Jose. Right. Jose, Jose was looking for the source here, right? All right. Bro, I swear for like a good five to ten minutes, I'm on my bed, Jose's in my office chair, and we're just <laughs> scroll Reddit, TikTok, everything. Just fucking, it's one. I'm on porn sites. It's on one of these, right? You gotta find it. I kid you not. I'm on Twitter, and I'm like, wait. And on Twitter, I'm like, Spready Gibbs. Like, it's like the original uh-huh. hashtag. And I scroll, and like seven, eight posts down, I see it. And as I go to say, found it, Jose goes, found it. And we both go, what the fuck? <laughs> we found it at the exact same time, at like eight minutes in. And we were both like, we have to stop hanging out with each other. It's like officially <laughs> That's over. That's crazy. But yeah, we found the picture. Jose saved it. So he, uh, he'll he never have to look for it again. <laughs> it's and shout outs to Freddie, who oddly took it like a champ by p- p- posting lyrics to a song, insinuating that he got his asshole eaten out. So, you know, what's, out. you know, what's funny, like when moments of like this happens and it's happened a lot this year when something leaks from a celebrity mm-hmm. and you're like, I need to find it just to say that you've seen the original photo, that moment of like searching and opening so many is like, click this link and you're like, no, back out and sign in again, like trying to find those images. It low-key gave me the idea. I'm like, I low-key now want to make an out al- like a f- album. Of just like anytime something leaks that drives the internet crazy, throw it in that album and just have just all these a bunch of dicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bunch, bunch of nudes. Oh, it's Drake's penis. Oh, it's another person's penis. Yeah. It's an asshole. <laughs> just save all the make celebrity nudes. <laughs> yes, 2024 has been the year of male celebrity leaks. I don't understand okay. what's happening. It's only February. Who are we going to find next? Yeah. Who are we going to find next? Bobby Rosario. <laughs> throw it up. <laughs> in the nude. Yes. Uh, I don't know what that edit's gonna be. We're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be, yeah, we'll gonna be, figure something it's gonna be out. great. Yeah. Uh, fucking anybody else? I know you said you both said you have stuff. What? You said you both said you have stuff to talk. I have about. stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to point to the sign saying that I feel like because now I'm playing PlayStation with the boys again. I feel yeah. like we are all we're all like <laughs> we're reuniting a little. Bit. It's a good feeling. Yeah, it's, it's a good like feeling. Playing yeah. a little bit of stuff. I feel like we gotta I, throw other it's, games. I get into to get the mad mix. at you guys once a week now. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it into the mix of something else. You I know? need you to know I threw my controller after last night's last game on my ride. I was like, I'm not talking to these guys for two days. <laughs> no, I felt it. I was, I, was, like, oh, I was upset at you. I was upset at you. <laughs> Out of respect, I won't paint the picture, but I don't I don't ever want to see that shit again. Okay? We're gonna we get better, we strap in. But yes, I've been having a good time playing with the boys. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like you're not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, I'm like, I don't even remember this moment. I'm like, you weren't there. You, oh, were right there. there. you know what's oh. actually funny? You were there, but you weren't there because you're always in the fucking party. You're not there. You're yeah, just, my girlfriend called me halfway through yeah. that one, and we tried to get you on, and we were like, Dylan, Dylan. All right, I guess we're just gonna play. <laughs> but now I will set the picture. It was, it was actually very close for what it's worth. It was, uh, it was a game of control on high rise, and it was down to one life each team, and Joey was behind the guy. 
and shot at him but missed and then realized he had no bullets left so I had to reload and the guy killed him and I was like Fuck. yo Bobby would you Disastrous. would you believe me if I told you that I played one more game after that after you I guys all logged off and that game closer than that one happened to me really yeah Wow. Like, the, the, the timer was down to, like, the last three fucking seconds, and they got the kills. It's infuriating, yeah, I was like, bro. fuck, I, ch- bro. No, you know what I felt like throwing my control. Bro, I'm, <laughs> Yo, and, and look. Dylan had t- ba- Jerry had back-to-back of those moments. <laughs> if you hear this Awful. statistic, if you hear this statistic, and you at home say, Bobby's ass at this game, you're entitled to that. And honestly, I can't really fight it. But I looked at my last 10 <laughs> games played on rank, and I have lost seven out of ten games and draw <laughs> another one i've only won two out of fucking ten games Damn. it's a, it's sad bro uh, and for what it's worth i am always like first and second on the leaderboard jerry's yeah. usually the other one next to me but fucking it's infuriating i'm gonna search you gotta try some randos you gotta try some randos we're hard stuck in bronze that's the problem however however if we, if we play headquarters we all go like 45 and 10 what the fuck is that about? <laughs> but headquarters isn't even a ranked game yeah. it should be it's and good that, and for whatever reason different, it's like man. all 10 year olds we just body those <laughs> yeah. lobbies literally like me and joe we were playing i was like Yo, are we playing with 10-year-olds? Joey goes into the fucking lobby, and there's 10-year-olds in the lobby. <laughs> I remember I'm playing I'm playing with Jerry, and we're, like, killing them. And the game is over, and I see the opposite scene. The mic yeah. symbols are, like, going hard. like. So I'm like, oh, shit, are they trash-talking? So I wanted to jump in on the action and be like, yo, whoa, <laughs> you little... Egg- like, like, they, they, I hear, him, yeah, that was a really good try, Patrick. Yeah, that was really good. That was crazy. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> like, they were like, oh, it was us 15 years ago. They were like, I didn't oh, know man. what was going on. That was crazy. And we were like, oh. I'm just imagining, like, really, like, dramatic piano music to that. Like, when Joey realized, just, like, it sinks in, and he's like, <laughs> I didn't even say anything to them. I was like, let them talk yeah. to each other. Let them talk to each other. I went back. It. And it's even weirder that it's like on Modern Warfare 2, which is like where we all yeah, started word. to. So it's word. like, the fuck is this, this full is their circle Modern moment? Warfare 2. It's weird, right? It's strange. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really make you think. I had to turn off that party shit because I would say something really disastrous to a child on the internet. <laughs> I just don't need that in my career or in my goals here on YouTube. But just, you know. Keep that to myself, you know. Salute to Nah, you. like half the Years time the it's line. like grown older man, bro. Like <laughs> I played with a guy today that sounded like Wade from GTA. Like, you know, man, man you think oh, we gotta go to A, guy. man. The the redneck dude in the jersey. Oh, yeah. With the I think he has a lisp. Yeah. Him, man. He sounded just like him. He's like, we gotta go, A. A lot of people who leave their mic on. Yeah. On the, they leave the controller mic on. Fucking hate those people. <laughs> it's always people. There's like seven people in their room. Like there's we have like five three babies. Like, yeah. You have seven people in your there's fucking a baby room. in the distance. <laughs> Shit, yo, yo, yo! Let's shut this baby up. I want to order Papa John. The it's people, like, who's, the people whose PlayStation fans sound like they're about to take flight. <laughs> <laughs> they're going down a fucking runway. They actually live in a windmill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think my biggest pet mind. beef is the heavy breathing. Just I don't. I don't, get, I don't that. get that. I don't much. get that at all. Mm. You know, it. my biggest pet peeve it. is when somebody in this room plays in their living room when it's a super active time, like <laughs> seven o'clock at night. Yeah. Oof, and it's just you fucking my dog. dogs barking and <laughs> mother no, playing music. Like it's like it's Jerry, like, Jerry, you see this? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> That's why I low key put myself on mute, and when I need to unmute, I unmute myself. Are you ever gonna play in your room? Is that ever something that's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't you're really you're have playing space. at a serious disadvantage. No, you're playing on a giant screen because if you're playing on a monitor, you're you're, you're cable there's like serious amounts of latency. Mm-hmm. That's like Maybe. a serious. That's why no, all yeah, of us yeah. play in a fucking monitor. I mean, Makes to each sense. their own. I get it. Yeah. But I mean, I do it because I have the whole setup. I feel like it'd also be a lot more comfortable than just like sitting in a dining room chair in front of the TV. You know, mm-hmm. but yeah, call the booty. Get the KD up. We got to get better. Call the booty. Call the booty. Gamer boys. All right, is that it? Is that no, it? No more contributions. Put the pin in it. I like your hat, Jerry. Put the, the pin, pin is going thanks, in right sir. now. Jerry's got a nice hat. Last chance. Yeah, it's power. It's Jerry's thin. nice hat. It's like the fucking. It's like the ball on New Year's Eve. The pin is going in. Was Snooky in it? The pin is touching Snooky. hand. Is pin Snooky up, in the pin? Pin is fully in. All right, pin is in. It's time for the jam in the end. You know what it is. You know what it is. My jam of the week is going to go to... First of all, I have to say I'm not going to do the thing where... Oh, maybe I am going to do the thing. Oh, I got oh, I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to do one. the thing. Oh, I'm going to do the thing. Shit. All right, so the one that I have, the song of my my jam of the week, is uh, it's first. on a similar vibe to Bobby's... Uh, well, the last time I was here, mm-hmm. Bobby's song of the week was um, a... 
the little Yachty song. Yes, Cold Sunday. Yes, and this is on a similar vibe. It's called Six Five Heartbeats. It's a song by The Alchemist and Vince Staples. Interesting. That sounds yeah. good. It's pretty good. Can I go? If you want, yeah. Go. Yeah. So this one comes actually from uh, one of my favorite podcasts. It is a song that is really good. It is Be Stiff by Devo. The 1980s, the Whippet Guys. The Whippet Guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because actually, the 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 band name Devo actually stands for De Evolution, and all of their songs are about like society and politics. But the one that got famous was Whippet Guys. Really good. <laughs> but uh, uh. this song, this song, but all of their other songs are really good. They're visual artists, and this song has like a really sick guitar line. Like the whole thing is guitar solo, yeah, yeah. and then the lead singer just going be stiff. Also, can I just say like. All jokes aside, that song is a 10 out of 10. What? That song is a banger. Whip, Whip it? it? Whip oh it is so God. good, bro. <laughs> you hear it to this day and it's... And you're like... Oh, you're it. Whip it good. Yeah. It's a jam. Mm-hmm. It's 100% a jam. And this is a jam. Banger. So check it out. It's crazy. Uh, real quick, I am going to do the thing that I said I wasn't going to do. The non-jam of the week that I want to shout out, just because it's kind of funny. <laughs> shout out to the song Every Kind of People by Robert Palmer. I have joked... For four straight years on this podcast about my dad's obsession with yacht rock, and god damn it, do I love yacht rock now? It's good. I hate myself <laughs> for it. He just left it on that radio, and I just jam out to it. But it's not jam of the week. Instead, the jam of the week is going to go to an artist who I've been following for an even longer time, who I think is super kick ass, and honestly speaking, who I think is one of the more uh, unique artists of our generation. So shout outs to Biba Doobie and her Woo. song Talk. Biba Doobie. My slam of the week comes from a. Uh... My girlfriend and I went to like a dark synth wave night in Brooklyn and this song played while I was like really drunk and I was just like, I stopped dancing and I just started listening to the song. It's called Bathory, uh, Bathory Bitch by Ghost, G-O-S-T. Uh, it's kind of dubstep synth wave mixed together and it sounded like something that would play like in a John Wick, like heavy action scene or like nice. Blade would come I'm in. I'm getting and... like Hotline Miami vibes. Yeah. But like like, and that's why I stopped dancing and I literally just started like on crazy shit. I started envisioning like Daydreaming. Hotline Miami. Like, <laughs> I was just dancing and then I was like top down action scene. <laughs> like I saw action scenes and I was Fuck, just Fuck, it was a window. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. My girl was like, what are you thinking about? <laughs> No, like, <laughs> nothing. Fucking, I was about to say, how do you dance to that? Or how, how do people dance to that? Uh, yeah. What, wait, <laughs> totally what was got it? it. What? How did you like do body it? movements? Just, yeah, like, it's just like imagine dodging some lasers. Yeah, and that's the <laughs> best. Dodging lasers, pushing cobwebs. <laughs> um, that's and a good like, one. Yeah, that's, that's hard. Bro. I can't do that. Shit. I can't do that. <laughs> Oh, fuck. But what if it's a really high BPM? You gotta be like, you gotta like more, all the cob- more cobwebs. Yeah. How thick they I'm are. Really down, I'm really in here. <laughs> I got trapped, man. Oh, There's man. a lot of cobwebs. <laughs> but it's gonna be our number one TikTok dance. They're gonna start blowing people up. Whole lot of cobwebs. Cobweb. Yeah, a whole lot of cobwebs. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Joystick Show, episode 180. Damn, Oof, we're just turning there. them out there, man. 20 mm-hmm. weeks, crazy. 200. Sheesh. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you could like the episode, subscribe if you stood this long. You probably like us. It's probably the vibe that I'm, is what I'm saying. You know? Uh, it'd be cool if you could stick around next week when we hang out and talk about some more stuff. And mm-hmm. until then, uh, what are we gonna do, though? Uh, we are going to poop. We are gonna do that occasionally throughout the the week. Mm-hmm. As, that, but we're gonna do something monumental. Yeah. So what is that, Dylan? What are we gonna do? Monumental. That's pretty big. Come on, come on, lead us out here. Big finale, no pressure. You killed the episode. (laughs) You killed the episode. Nah, you can make Dylan explode. What was I supposed to say?